So why live stream to just one platform when you can live stream to multiple platforms at the exact same time? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you how to do it, even if you're brand new to live streaming. What's going on, everybody? Monty Weaver here, helping you navigate through digital tech and social media. So if you're brand new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button if you want to learn about any of those areas. And in today's video, we are going to take a look at how to actually live stream to multiple destinations at the exact same time. This is the easiest way to 3x your video views by not doing anything extra. Now, before we get started, I wanted to shout out our friends at Restream for sponsoring this video. They allow you to stream your broadcast to over 30 plus destinations at the exact same time and their user-friendly interface makes this easy even for beginner live streamers. If you haven't already, make sure you check the link below in the description section of this video and get started with Restream and creating your free account. Now, 2020 has been the year of video. Everyone is on Zoom, everyone is live streaming, everyone is capitalizing on pre-recorded videos. So we know how important it is for video. But why stop there? Why not live stream to multiple platforms at the exact same time and not just being stuck on one singular platform when all you have to do is toggle a couple buttons and now 3x your video views. Now, just a couple years ago, in order to live stream to multiple platforms at the exact same time, you would have to set up multiple smartphones or tablets or DSLR cameras and your audience easily knew that you weren't focused on them because your eye was constantly looking at all the other cameras for all the different social media platforms that you had set up. But with the power of Restream, you can look at one camera and send your broadcast to multiple destinations at the exact same time. This is awesome because your audience is always going to be engaged with you because you're engaged with them looking at one single camera lens. So I'm gonna walk you through how to actually set up this in Restream so that you can focus in on your audience and not have all the complicated hardware and software. You can easily focus in one area and sing your live stream to multiple destinations at the exact same time. So let's jump over to the computer screen and walk through the setup. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you get signed up for Restream using the link below in the description and create your free Restream account. I already have an account with Restream, so I'm going to log in. And now I'm at the entry page of Restream which allows me to connect my multiple social media accounts at the exact same time. And so for this example, I'm going to connect to my Facebook account and connect to Facebook using my name and password. I'm going to save as my personal profile and I'm going to turn this off for the time being. I'm now going to click under the add channel to select a second destination and I'm going to select Periscope and connect to Periscope and log in as well. Authorize my account with Restream and now I have two platforms ready to go. I'm gonna turn off Periscope for the time being and select a third destination that I wanna to go to. So now I'm gonna select YouTube and connect YouTube events. Authenticate into YouTube. And select my account. and save. I'm going to toggle this off for YouTube for the time being. And now we have three destinations that we can live stream to at the exact same time. No more having to go to one platform, doing a live stream, turning it off, and then going to another platform and then another. That takes a lot of time. 
The easiest way to do it is to connect all your platforms in Restream and then live stream to all your destinations at the same time. Now that we have all of our destinations set up, let's go into the live studio where we can actually start our live stream. So we're gonna click on the far right, enter live studio. And we're gonna allow our camera to be seen. So right now you're looking at the camera that I have built into my laptop. But with Restream, you can select from any camera that you may have connected to your computer and select any microphone that you may have as well. So I'm gonna to switch to a different camera by going into the settings section and selecting my cam link device and also selecting my audio from my cam link as well. And now, I actually have my high quality mirrorless camera shown on the screen. So now that we have our Restream set up with selecting the destinations that we want, now we can just simply go live to our platforms. Now, if you wanna set up more than three destinations, you can do that. Or maybe for a specific video, you only wanna to go to two destinations or maybe just one singular destination. You can do that as well. The simplicity that you have with inside of Restream is awesome. Now on the right side of the panel, we can see that we have our go live button and we can see that we have our preview button as well. As we continue over to the right panel, we have our chat function that allows us to see all the chat that comes in from the multiple platforms. So in this case, we have Facebook, Periscope, and YouTube as the destinations that we can live stream to. This means all the chat from all three of those destinations will be brought into Restream and we can manage all of those in one place without having to be in every single location logged in. We don't have to have up three separate windows to manage all the comments that are coming in. We can manage everything inside of Restream. That makes it easy for you, even as a beginner. We also have the captions section the graphics section and the setup section. This is where we're going to actually create the name of our live stream broadcast that will be used on each of our destinations. So for this example, we're just going to say test live streaming. In our description, we're going to say using restream to live stream. Now that we have that set up, we can toggle on the destinations that we want to go live to. We can turn on Facebook, we can turn on Periscope, and we can turn on YouTube. When you see your destinations lit up and the toggle turned on to blue, this allows you to know that you will go live to those specific platforms. But again, if you only want to go live to two of your platforms, you can just turn it off and you would only go live to those platforms that you've selected. Now, once you click go live, you are going live to those audiences. You don't have to worry about pulling up a separate Facebook window or a separate Periscope page. You can manage everything right inside of the Restream console. So this makes it easy for you or the person that's managing the live streams. I don't think it can get any easier than this. Just by using the right platform and not having to worry about all the complicated technical equipment that goes into it, Restream allows you to go to pretty much any destination that you want to, all at a click of a button. Hey, if you got some value from this video, do me a huge favor by clicking on the like button. And if you haven't already, look in the description below so that you can create your free Restream account and get started using the platform. Hey, my name is Monty Weaver and I look forward to seeing you in the next Restream video training.